So my name is Maura Bergen. I'm a faculty member in exercise science and a senior staff member in strength and conditioning. I work specifically with the softball team. My pronouns are she, her, and I am from Manchester, Connecticut. Interesting, I actually was just telling the GAs in the office. I grew up um, in a nice, small, close-knit neighborhood. I actually grew up next door to um, four boys that were very athletic. Um, so I spent a lot of time outside, uh, whether it was playing football on the street, playing basketball till dark in the driveway, running around in the backwoods. So sports um, have always been a really big part of, of my childhood and growing up. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to an awesome high school that had strength and conditioning. Um, so I was introduced to that while I was going through high school, um, I was able to train after school, um, being in that environment too as well. So definitely spent a lot of time playing sports growing up. I think with a lot of people in their stories, they have a couple of like big moments where they were like, okay, this is all gonna be okay. Um, and I was fortunate to grow up with, I've got three like best, best friends. Like I basically called them my brothers and I was really nervous to like tell them and be like, hey, like this is what's going on. This is what I'm feeling. Um, this is where I'm at. And I specifically remember I was like, hey, you know, I think, I think I'm gay. I think I'm, I, I'm this is me, this is who I am and so, and one of them just looked at me and said, I know, and that's totally okay. And I think we literally just moved on to the next conversation. So for me, um, I think the people that care about you the most and love you the most, you may not feel that in the moment, um, but kind of there's that deep down feeling of, these are the people that I want to confide in and I know that they are going to be there for support. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, there weren't challenging conversations. There wasn't some um, adversity that I had to deal with through this process. I think, you know, many people do do that. And um, I think it's remembering to confide in the people that you know are going to help support you and that they're going to be um, with you through every step of the way. I think um, being a faculty member, it's a great opportunity for me to and do things like this to share my story, um, show that I am an advocate, that I'm part of the community. And I will say for the student athletes watching, you guys were the ones that did motivate me. You know, that's always something, and I tell my students in class all the time, is it's a two-way road, right? So like, I'm gonna learn a lot from our graduate students, I'm going to learn a lot from our undergrad students, so I hope um, that this could be an example um, for you know, people that are interested in whether it's our programs or you know, student athletes or what have you uh, to increase some of that diversity and ex overall acceptance. I definitely want to, and a big reason for me to do this was the, to be able to display this idea of empathy where it's, um, you know, a lot of us, whether we're faculty members or we're your strength coaches or we're your GAs, you know, we've gone through um, some of the same things that you as student athletes or students are going through. I think one thing for me that stuck out and it's a it's conversation, especially in the field of strength and conditioning that we're having a lot is sometimes it's, Coaches or institutions will start the conversation out with, hey, I need a female coach. Like, I need your best female coach because we need to, we need a female on our staff. And so, for me, that's something that's, I, you know, I, it's a challenging thing to hear because you're like, I want to be your best coach and it doesn't matter, you know, how I identify. Like, I want to be the best um, and I want you to hire me because I am your best coach, not because we're just a female. It's almost like a coming out experience all over again, where it's on the day to day, or you know, you're going to whether it's like the holiday party or the end of the year event or something pretty significant, and um, you bring your significant other with you, and it's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, this is also my partner. You know, so there is that um, kind of that like underlying idea of you know every day is a different coming out story and being able to um, have to do or having to have to do that um, in various situations. I came to Springfield College as a as a graduate student and I thought I was going to be here for two years get my master's degree and then move on and you know go be a big division one strength coach somewhere and I absolutely fell in love with the community and I think it had a lot to do with the environment that's created here on campus, especially in athletics. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to, you know, have some great fellowship opportunities and have an opportunity to stay, you know, as a GA and stay, you know, for my PhD and then eventually work, uh, you know, as a faculty member. So I think um, there's a lot to be said about 
about Springfield College and the community. Um, it's been a fantastic place to grow as a student, yes, but also a young adult and young professional. Um, and it's provided a lot of support and a lot of guidance. And I think it's really, you know, given me the opportunity to, to grow and, and to grow up for sure.